Hi, Matt from Modern Samurai here and welcome to Self Defence Made Simple. So this is going to be a series of tutorials on how to go through all the very basics that we need moving on to some slightly more advanced stuff, but we're going to make it simple. So we're going to explain it in a way where everyone can understand, everyone can follow along and whether you're a beginner or whether you're a more advanced student, you can hopefully take something from this. So. Today's what we're going to talk about is we're going to have a look at punching. So we're going to keep it nice and simple and straightforward to begin with and we're going to look at some of the things that are required. So basically how to make a fist, which part of the hand to connect with, some of the mechanics that are involved, how to, how to form a good stance. All right, so we're going to look at all of these things because all of these things are really important and without them your punching is never going to be as effective as it could be. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to make a fist correctly. Now it's really important that we understand how to do that because if we think about impacting onto a solid object, whether that be a skull or a bag or a focus pad, um, there's obviously a risk of injury to ourselves as well. Now when we look at why boxing gloves were invented, some people tend to think that it was to protect the face of the person being struck when in actual fact um, that's designed to, to actually protect the hands of the person doing the striking because if you think about it, the hands are full of very small bones they are actually very fragile and as you can see by mine um, they do break rather easily so we're trying to avoid that damage in the first instance so if we are gonna hit with a closed fist it's a good idea to learn how to do that correctly so the first thing we're going to look at is how to actually make a fist in the right manner so Now we're going to move on to where the feet need to be. So we're going to look at our foot positioning for our stance. All right? so go, basically, we need to work out the platform that we're going to be using for throwing the strikes from. So different styles will have different ideas of what their perfect stance would be. Now, when I'm talking about this to, to various organizations and different people and different um, styles and things like that, I tend to say, you know, you will revert to what you train in. So, Go with what you're comfortable with, but just try and keep a few things in mind. So as an example of that, every stance in a sporting context is designed for that sport. So if you take a boxing stance and you think about a boxer, a boxer will have his hands up and he'll be looking to defend against strikes and punches. All right. If you look at a grappler, quite often they'll be very low in their stance, they'll have their elbows in with a low centre. They're not worried about getting punched in the face because within their rule base, that's not allowed. Okay, so that's just some examples. Then you so now that we've got our stance, we're going to take a quick look at some, uh, some movement, how to move, all right? Now, that might sound stupid, it might sound silly, it might sound like it's not important, but actually it's very important because the way that we're going to learn to move is different to how you would normally walk. Okay, so if we look at how we normally walk, essentially walking is a series of falling over. So what happens is my balance actually falls forward and I put my leg out to stop myself falling over. And then I just repeat the process. So here, look, I'm leaning forward and I'm falling, right? So that's what walking is. Now what I actually want to do, as I mentioned earlier, is to keep over my centre. So now that we have the stance, now it's time to take a look at um, actually utilizing that within the strike so we're not going to look at specific strikes today we will come back to that in another episode of this but for now we're just going to basically use what they call a cross punch so i'm going to show you the mechanics of that because that's what we're going to use okay but it's just enough to show you so that we understand what we're doing so if we go back to our stats okay i'm going to be throwing a punch off my backhand and it's going to be a straight punch so this is what they call a cross so from here the arm extends out in this manner. Now, if we remember, we talked about the chin being tucked in. So as I push out the arm, that's what I want you guys to do. So the arm comes here, look, the elbow doesn't splay out at the start. That arm comes out and it turns on the end. Now we Right, so now we're going to use that on Fred here, okay? So Fred's one of my oldest and best friends. Never lets me down. Okay, and we are going to use him and we're going to uh, explain a little bit more about what we're doing here. So if we remember our stance, now this time I'm going to go into a southpaw stance because I'm going to strike with my left hand so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. 